Niet in een. Um, this is Shiva Maya. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you three reasons why it is so beneficial for you to eat vegetarian. Actually, eating veg is the most natural way to do. Um, first of all, first reason. Your digestive system takes up around a third of your energy when it is processing food. And the most heaviest kind of food that takes the most energy to process is actually meat. So if you leave meat out of your diet, the one thing you immediately win is a lot of energy. Um, second reason um, has to do with the mind. Because we actually need to um, fool ourselves in order to be able to eat meat. Maybe there are a few exceptions, but there are rare ones. Most of us, when we meet an animal and we connect to it, we play with it, it is alive and kicking and we, we are in interaction. And at that moment somebody tells you, now kill it and eat it, nobody of us will do. And how come we, when it ends up on our plate and we don't have that picture of that little cute animal that was alive before it ended up like this in your plate, when we disassociate ourselves totally, totally from it and act like it is not the same as that animal, only then we can eat it. So actually it is very healthy. Uh, for your mind, for your whole being, if you don't have to do that, if you just can consciously look at what is on your plate, being aware of where it's coming from and feeling good about it, just not having any mind struggle like, oh yeah, I have seen such a documentary in how bad they uh, treat all the chicken, so actually I should not eat this. No. Just cut it out of your diet and the whole problem is solved. And then the third reason is that a lot of animals in the, in the whole animal-based industry are treated so badly. And that is not only um, means suffering for the animal at that moment, that suffering actually uh, gets stored in their DNA, in their uh, muscle memory in their bio memory um, that way when the suffering is stored in the body of the chicken or the pig or whatever the animal is when you eat it you take that karma in because it is actually what we call uh, karma that suffering that gets restored in the body we take that in and it becomes our bio memory it becomes our muscle memory so you literally eat suffering and at a certain moment I, that made me uh, decide to be a vegetarian because at a certain moment I was eating and I could just literally feel I was eating violence. I could no longer uh, shut my eyes and, and ears for the truth that this snack means killing another creature on this planet. I didn't want that at all so I just quit. And then later on I found out that actually I had a lot more energy. Um, it was really, uh, if you like to do yoga and meditation, it is the best support that you can give yourself. A healthy diet without any meat. Um, it was very healthy for my digestion system. I had some problems with it. So, uh, And I know that like 20% of um, uh, the Europeans have some kind of issue with their uh, digestion system. Um, a lot of it will uh, improve if you're no longer eating meat. And if you want to take it a little bit further, you can even uh, eat sattvic diet. Uh, sattvic diet is uh, based on uh, that there are three qualities, uh, rajas, tamas and uh, uh, sattva. And a uh, sattvic diet is actually a diet that is um, balanced in such a way that it is very, very healthy for your body and also 
um, really supportive for higher states of consciousness. It is easier to be in that higher state of consciousness to um, retain that amount of energy, that energy frequency, uh, by such a diet. And uh, that actually contains mainly um, eating fats and also uh, no onions and no garlic. Um, it is not bad actually to eat garlic and onion, but it is not healthy for you to eat it on a daily basis. Actually, it are very, very profound medicines for certain conditions. And we all know medicines you only should take if you have that condition and you need that kind of a treatment. If you, um, like uh, for instance, some kind of painkiller, if you don't have any pain but you just make it a habit to take it in, that is not healthy for your body. It's not, uh, nobody with a logical mind would do that. And we don't have that knowledge in our common sense anymore, but onions and garlic are both actually medicines. So let's take it that way and then uh, um, uh, uh, avoid the meat out of our uh, diet and we are eating sattvic. And even to give you some more information that I found out only after meeting Swamiji and learning more about what veg actually is, uh, I found out that a lot of um, other projects that are not directly animal products contain some kind of animal parts. So, like gelatin, for example, or rennet in cheese. Um, those are also good to avoid, um, because then you're even still in the process of like killing e animals and eating uh, bits of that. It also still uh, contains that karma. So if you want to go all the way and really use that as a good support to um, raise your own consciousness, to raise your own frequency, uh, energy frequency in life, be more healthy, more happy, then uh, this would be my suggestion. Take up a sattvic diet, um, avoid meat, onion and garlic, and, uh, and, and just enjoy your body. Treat it like a temple. Nietzsche and them.